Hi, my name is Maria Fernandez and I'm a community creative herbalist and I'm standing next to wild lettuce, Lactusa verosa, that's her Latin name. And I want to show you in this video her lookalike. Ah, I got some of that latex. Keep watching if you want to learn more how to recognize this beautiful ally that it's wonderful for pain. It's an opioid without the addictive qualities, of course, and super safe without the side effects. She wants to say hi. Hello. The lettuce. She is wild. <laughs> All right. Well, this video is about helping you identify wild lettuce and showing you some lookalike. I want to show you the difference between wild lettuce and so thistle. Wild lettuce has this little bending. It looks for the, see how it turns? It, um, it looks for the sunlight and wild lettuce. Do you see these prickly hairs? That's how you could tell. If you look at the stem, it's kind of like reddish. And this is about to flower. It's quite tall. Um, right now, this is probably like six feet tall. It could be up to seven feet tall. But the jagged edges it's how you could identify it another form of um, identifying wild lettuce is this do you see that that sap latex is the medicine and I'll show you the other plant and the other plant does not do this this is the leaf and when you get to the top it's it's not the same so it, it's kind of like smaller as it gets to the top. So here she is in smaller format and see how the leaf is not so jagged at the top but at the bottom of it and it's much smaller. And here is that wonderful So this is a, a baby one, a tinier one, but as you can see, they could grow up. This is um, maybe about two feet. Then we have one that's about four feet. And then we have another one that's about six feet tall, and they could be up to seven feet tall. That's the height. Lactusa verosa. Well, let's Lactusa verosa. This, this hollow. That's the medicine. The sap latex. That's what we're after. As an herbalist, you want to make sure you have the right plant. Anytime you're making medicine, identification is going to be your top priority. So in this video, I want to show look-alike. So this is right here, a plant that looks like wild lettuce. So it's sort of similar in the buds. And when you look at it, you think, hmm, this might be wild lettuce. So how can we tell the difference, right? This one is so thistle because it has like a, a white flower. So that's one way to determine it. Another way to determine is look at the look at the leaf pattern. Now it's hairy. Um, the stalk is not reddish. Um, it's jagged. So that might confuse me, right? But now, is there any sap? No, nothing protruding, which is really important. So, when we make an indent on the plant, like breaking up a stem, sap should be coming out. But nothing comes out. Which one of this leaf is wild lettuce? Wild open lettuce. 
contestant, contestant number one, the middle one, contestant number two, or contestant number three. Do you know what this is? This is dandelion. And if you guess this one, you're correct. This is wild lettuce. This is sow thistle. So is jagged. And this is the importance of learning how the leaves grow, what kind of sap comes out of them. Does it have spiny back? This one has spiny, which could also be confusing, but yep. It has little spines, but it doesn't have the sap. See those little spikes? The salt thistle also has spikes, as you can see. But it doesn't have a white sap. So when we break it apart, nothing. When we break the wild lettuce, there's the white sap. Do you see that white milky sap? So I just want to compare the flowering buds of uh, the milk thistle, which is a look-alike, and the wild lettuce. So the wild lettuce has like a cute little baby buds, right? And these ones are bigger, right? In comparison, we have way bigger. So we look at, when identifying plants, we're looking at the stem. Um, is it round? Is it square? Is it red? Is it green? Is it um, hollow? You know, these are characteristics that you want to get acquainted. Does it have thorns? Um, spikes um, it's a hairy right then we look at the leaves and the leaves are they round are they edgy um, what are the spine of the leaf look like um, and then we look at the flowers the flowers is really good and if you don't have the flower then a good way to tell the plant it's by the leaves. However, knowing the kind of flower that certain plants are is the easiest way. It's the easiest way to identify a plant. Um, noticing the height is important because certain plants grow to a certain height. So you will know like, okay, uh, wild lettuce grows up to seven feet tall. This one is pretty tall. Yeah, this is probably it, right? Um, is it biennial? Is it perennial? You know, different things like that. It does it grow in rocky, um, you know, compact soil, or does it grow near water? Does it like the shade more? Things like that. Is it an invasive? These are all questions that, as a herbalist, you have to be constantly asking. So each time, learning more about each plant. My name is Maria Fernandez and I'm a community creative herbalist. Thank you for watching. If you like the videos that I'm creating, please hit the like button and also share with your friends and subscribe to my channel as I plan to create more of these videos to give information for free about herbalism and wild crafting. And you don't have to pay thousands of dollars to, to learn herbalism. In fact, just by watching some of my videos, you could probably get confident enough to do it yourself. And that's how it starts, one plant at a time. And I believe in you. I know you could do this. So please um, make sure to always be curious like a child. And one plant at a time is how you would learn and you continue your exploration with botany or herbalism, right? Well, there's magic everywhere. Thank you for watching. I hope you like and love plants as much as I do. Thank you.